trying YouTube. This is like take five of trying to do this freaking video. It's pissing me off. Um, so I went to the hospital. I'll give you the short version. Went to the hospital on the 21st. <clears throat> Got there. Pre-op, I wasn't scared at all um, until they wheeled me into the actual operating room. And then I got scared because it was this huge room with all these monitors and I could like see my MRIs like on the wall over here, you know? And they had music on and there were a shitload of people in there and um, they were moving, not my bed, but they were moving another bed like in and out. Because I was laying on my back, and then they were gonna, you know, put me to sleep, and then, but then they were gonna roll me over onto my back once I was out of it and cut me open. So I started crying. <laughs> I was really scared, and um, one of the nurses took my hand, and she was like yelling at everyone. She was like, "Turn off that goddamn music!" and like. <laughs> She was really cool, you know, um, and she was directing the, it's funny because she was like telling the um, anesthesiologist what to do. She's all, well, give her some Valium or something. They gave me some Valium and I was still freaking out. And I can't remember, she said something else and then I was out of it. I was asleep, I don't remember anything else. Um, the anesthesiologist nicked my tongue. And so, like, from here on, like, half, that's half my tongue is numb. <laughs> Can't feel anything. And if you look underneath my tongue, you can see a little scar where it got nicked. So I said it would take a while, but it would heal up. <laughs> Anyways, the surgery went well, apparently. Um, they went out and told, my doctor went out and told them that there was more of the crap the crab meat or the nucleus or whatever you want to call it the stuff that was inside my disc there was more of that spilled out than he had thought which I so the surgery took a little bit longer for him to pull all that garbage out of there and he said my nerve was very red and inflamed so when I woke up I was in a lot of pain um, and it took him forever to give me pain medication my hospital stay there after the surgery was horrible. It was absolutely horrible. And I'm not going to go into it much because I could literally talk for an hour on how horrible it was. Not getting me my pain medication, getting me wrong medication, not getting me my regular meds that I'm supposed to take, um, not getting me up to walk after surgery to do it myself. Just like... I have like a list of things that they just totally screwed me on. I basically took care of myself in the hospital and it was just a nightmare. And um, anyhow, so finally they get me my pain medication and um, I was really upset when I got up to walk because my legs still hurt and I thought, oh well surgery was supposed to make it so that my leg wouldn't hurt anymore but it didn't <laughs> so I'm hoping that um, it's just because it's like red and inflamed the nerve and that it will dissipate and I will be able to walk normally because if I'm one of the 10% that it didn't work for I'm gonna cry <laughs> and be really upset so right now I'm in a lot of pain and I don't really have a whole lot of pain medication to help me so I'm just kind of dealing. Um, all I have is the stuff that I had before I went to the hospital which is my Neurontin and my Norco and then they sent me home with Soma which is a muscle relaxer. I'm not sure what they thought they would accomplish with that but I have it. <laughs> um, so, and then ibuprofen for swelling. Um, so anyways, later I will post the video of when I was actually in the hospital. But I'm going to see if I can get this camera to zoom in on my um, stitches area so you can see it. Oh god, it hurts getting up. 
watch this part if you don't want to see it, but I have 15 stitches going all the way up there. Ugh, it sucks so bad. And I have like this little, like, little pad right here because it's oozing. That's my nasty, nasty incision. It hurts really bad. Um, so look forward to two more videos. One, I'm going to show you Crystal's dramatized version of when I was in the hospital. And then, um, well, before I went to surgery. And then um, I'm going to talk about my final decision about lap band gastric bypass and about um, where I'm going to have it done at. So those are the next videos that I'm going to be updating you on. I hope you enjoyed looking at my nasty stitches. Bye, YouTubers.